Oh, uh, uh, hello there. Uh, uh, greetings. And, uh, 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 welcome back to the channel there. All you, are uh, in YouTube land. And, uh, uh, fellow Eternians. It is, uh, uh, Eldor here. Or the, uh, the Masterversal, uh, Toy Hunter. So, uh, 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 what was I supposed to be doing now? Was, uh, was it a bit of a review or something? Uh, maybe, or, or going on a bit of a live, live stream there, I believe you say? Uh, I think I'm, my memory's going a bit of my old age, I think. Uh, what was I doing there? Uh, uh, maybe, maybe, uh, all you watching can, uh, uh, help me out there. Uh, I can't recall if I was, uh, supposed to be reviewing a, a, a figure, a figure or two, or, or whatever that was. Uh, what is that? Uh, uh, capture? Capture? What is I supposed to be catching there? Uh, I know this is a bit of a, a bit of a, a bumblebee a buzzing about, buzzing about at the moment. I could try catching that. Uh, uh, I don't have any, uh, I don't have a net or, or a jar on me though. I don't know if I'd use my hands with his, uh, with his big stinger there and what have you. Oh, every bit of bad news. I don't want a poor swollen uh, uh, hand there. Uh, and maybe, maybe, maybe I can try catching something a little less, uh, 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 a, a little less uh, dangerous there. Maybe a, maybe a, a, a fly or a bit of a castle spider, perhaps. Uh, just a second, I see, see what I can find there. But I don't usually uh, review insects there, so. I don't know quite what you mean by uh, uh, catching something. Uh, 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 as you do, I suppose. Let's see what I can find uh, about here. Oh, oh, this is a bit of a um, a bit of a mosquito there. They're not too bad. Uh, I can't hold those for long though. They get a bit thirsty if you. Uh, catch my drift. <laughs> uh, what is it? There's a, there's a castle spider there. Hang on. I'll just uh, catch that fellow there. there. Uh, what was that? No, uh, so not catching something. Oh, a, a capture. I've uh, never, never reviewed a, a capture before, but. Uh, it do give me a bit of trouble sometimes at the old, uh, after the old checkout at Mattel Creations there. Uh, I suppose I'd have to buy something to, to review a bit of a capture. Uh, okay, I'll, uh, just, just give me a moment. I'll get on Mattel Creations there and see what they have for sale. So we can, uh, review a, a, a capture there. Okay. Uh, we're on the, uh, Mattel Creations site there, so, uh, uh, I suppose uh, all of you new to Mattel Creations there, yeah, uh, uh, when you are checking out your figure, especially on these, uh, uh, fast, fast, uh, sell-out sales, as you say, like all one dial there, you have to go through all this jazz, like, uh, saying you're not a robot. Uh, no, uh, I think, therefore, I am. So, uh, and, uh, uh, prick me, and do I not bleed, as they say. So let's, uh, let's get a check the box, I'm not a robot. And then, of course, you get a little capture. Come up here, and you have to, uh, usually select all the images that have a certain field like here, we have to find all the mountains or hills. That should be fairly easy, I suppose. So, uh, 
let's have a look at that so so uh over there it looks like a bit of a bit of a hill there so click that one this is a little little rise i suppose we'll click that one too and uh well i reckon this one has a few hills in the background there so click on that and i think that's all the hills and mountains uh, they might be driving up a mountain or hill i don't know and uh you click on the we are verify button there so that's sure uh, and then you click a uh, submit and uh so forth so uh yes uh, that's that's a bit of a short review there of a capture i think uh, bit of an odd bit of an odd thing i would be reviewing as such uh, it doesn't really have anything to do with masters of the universe or or uh, recent up until recent uh, uh, uh mythic legions there so i'm a bit puzzled as to why i'd be reviewing a capture uh, oh oh uh, you're, you're saying uh uh, Catra. Oh, Catra. Oh, oh, why didn't you say so? <laughs> I'm going to, going to go around all this other stuff. <laughs> you should, you should realise by now, in my old age, I'm a bit hard of hearing, and uh, I seem to have, uh, I should have started with that. I seem to have uh, misplaced my hearing aid uh, and such. Oh. Well, that was a bit of a, a wild goose chase, shall we say? <laughs> ah, I remember now. Yes, we were, we were going to review the, uh, the, uh, um, the Masterverse Catra there from the Evil Horde. <laughs> Not good. <laughs> But uh, without further ado, let's get that uh, a figure in hand, shall we? Huh. Uh, and there she is, the uh, uh, Master Verse Catra, all in her window box there. And uh, we have uh, we have her name, her name on the side, on that side of the box. Bit of the uh, wording up there of the uh, of the uh, uh, master verse and what have you and, uh, on this side of the box and a bit of art, bit of art there. So she's looking all fierce and and troublesome as it were. <laughs> and then of course she uh, we come to the uh, the window box which uh, showcases a uh, catcher there, the, the, the figure, and all the different uh, accessories, the shield there, and a bit of a, a bit of a scepter I think, and a couple of spare hands, and what have you, and uh, she's a bit of a, a mask there, okay. and of course we have uh, this, this nice shiny 40th uh, Master of the Universe or, or He Man logo up there. And a uh, Princess of Power a logo at the bottom. Uh, very nice packaging there. And uh, yes, let's, uh, let's move to the back of the box here. She's a bit of a, a bio and, uh, and what have you. So uh, uh, here we go. Uh, take a look at the the back part of the of the box here, and a bit of a bio on Catra, and of course uh, she's surrounded by uh, 
her fellow Horde members here in uh, an Origins format. So we have old Horde Ark, Horde Ark the leader there, uh, behind him followed in tow by a uh, uh, Mantenna, a bit of a Horde Trooper, and of course uh, a Mosquito and Grizzle there. So she's got a bit of a, a support from her, from her fellow team members as it were. So uh, let's have a look at this uh, back of the box art here for a wee moment. So there's old, old Catcher there with her shield in her hand. She's looking rather fierce and wild with her piercing gaze. And there she's got her scepter and her hand looks like a magical scepter there. Or it might, uh, might double as a bit of a club too, a bit of a weapon. And, and, and what have you. So there's a bit of nice art there on her. And she's in her a rather Christmassy looking red dress and a bit of a cape. And, and such. So uh, now that we've looked at that, there's a couple of other fellows we can get here. So there's of course uh, this new CGI He-Man. And then we have uh, uh, Zodak, the Cosmic Enforcer. I have to get one of him too soon. And we have uh, a CGI Skeletor. Oh, he's looking a bit more scary, I think. And then, uh, as we have in hand, a uh, catcher there. So uh, those are some that are also available, as it says on the box there. Okay, so all oh, good. What are we saying? A bit of a... What are we saying here? Oh, a bit of a story on Ketra. Here we, here we go. The cruel, calculating force captain of the evil horde holds her hatred for she close to her heart. Oh dear. A bit, a bit of a spat, I think. Uh, using her trademark uh, magic hat mask, Ketra is a dangerous nemesis for the Princess of Power. She can shapeshift into a powerful panther. Her uh, blast, her uh, freeze fire beams to encase her enemies in ice, or even teleport. Her greatest power, however, is her cat-like cunning. Uh, cross her if you dare. Oh, uh, I don't think we'll... Uh, Cause too much trouble for catcher there, uh, I think. <laughs> so yes, a little bit of a look at the box there, and, uh, and uh, with my trusty uh, letter opener, we will uh, open the box up there. There we go. It's a top tape cut. It's, uh, Get this figure out. A bit of a um, unboxing review here. Ooh. So there we go. And we'll just uh, get this all nice and neat again. And uh, we'll pop that just up in the background there. All right, so here we have a, a catcher there in a bit of her, a bit of a blister a cradle there and what have you. So we might uh, pop a few of these pieces out, like her shield there, uh, maybe a spare hand, we might have a look at those, but I, I I always had trouble with um, the hands are a bit hard to pull out and push in, especially with my, uh, at my age, with my arthritis and, uh, and such, and such. Let's see, oh, that came out all right. So we have the, 
We have her scepter, her scepter out there. Magical scepter. Bit of a, a green jewel encased at the top. And then what have you. Well now we have a few ties to cut I think. Uh, about the show. So the, I suppose if they're thinner legs it's more easier to get uh, the old snips into these ones. So that's a, that's a bit of a load off I suppose. Well, but her arms look a bit more tightly done up there. But uh, we should be able to manage. Get the snips in there. Oh, fighting me a wee bit. Oh. Here we go. Here's one. Yeah. Got to watch the cape there. We're going to snip the cape. There's two. Oh. And they've done the cape up in those as well. How troublesome. Okay, we have to be very careful there. Oh. I think maybe oh, I might try and take it from this side. You don't want to cut those little threads. Oh dear, what a what a work. There's one. I get the, the my whiskers out of the road there. A cat here. <laughs> And there's another one, I think. Yes, here it is. Oh, a bit fiddly. Stay there. Oh, gotta get my my poor hands to hold it properly with my arthritis. Well, uh, there we go. I believe we're she's all free to come out now. Oh, you can get her out of this plastic. Oh. With how tight these uh, fingers are in the plastic, I don't know why they they bother with the plastic ties to be honest. Oh. Boy, oh boy. So there's, uh, there's uh, that done with the, shall we say. Oh, what a workout. So yes, uh, her joints, her joints feel nice there. Not too loose, so that's good. Right, let's uh, let's have a look around here. So yes, she has her, her red dress on, and if you uh, move her ab crunch there, it makes the full uh, horde logo on her chest there, and on the the middle point of her dress. So it's uh, in a bit of a lighter red, uh, like a belt there. Good to uh, uh, differentiate the colour with, I think. So that's, that's looking good there. She's a nice uh, uh, ribbing sculpt work in her dress. And uh, of course, uh, a bit of that at the sides, but that might be more of a, a plastic seam, maybe. Or not. But yes, she she continues with that uh, with that ribbing sculpt work on the back of the dress and more of a plain uh, belt at the, the back. Oh, one of those tabs of the uh, Hang, hang on to her cape there. We can't have any of that now. <laughs> and uh, here she has her, her, her arm braces there. Uh, done in red, two-tone red. And has a bit of a, a bit of a, a dark, dark red design uh, painted on there. And that is, of course, on both the, on both arms. And she can uh, hold her arms out there. Maybe do a bit of a, the cat scratch look with her hands. 
Oh. Let's, let's, let's have a look at this uh, mask here. I think it uh, this does a bit of a slide down the side of her face. Might lean her forward a wee bit there. And she's got her her menacing cat claws uh, battle stance going on. We get her legs, legs uh, poised for her to pounce, I think. So there we go. She's ready for hand to hand combat there with She Ra. Or, or, or other members of the Resistance, the other princesses, and, and what have you. So uh, I think it was probably just as well we. We broke out her spare hands because uh, we might need one of those to hold her scepter properly. But uh, anyway, moving down there, her, her boots are all a nice bright red and what have you. With that similar uh, painted symbol there uh, on the middle of the on the middle of the boot. Just a bit of a, a wrinkling sculpt work around above the ankle there. And of course you can uh, uh, rock the, the foot around for various posing. A uh, little bit of a, you can get a little bit of a side tilt. Side tilt there and what have you. Uh, she can do a little bit of the splits, I suppose, uh, but her dress hinders uh, most of that uh, motion, as it were. Uh, it also hinders her back, her back kick, as it were, and feels like her front kick is hindered too because of the dress, so uh, she won't be doing much kicking, I think. <laughs> And a uh, bit of a, although these are always hard to do, the double knee, double knee uh, uh, joints here. Oh dear, you know, my poor hands are not having any of it today. So, and normally there's a bit of a double knee kick, I wonder if, oh, hang on. No, we need to bring the, the lower part back to activate to activate the full double joint of the knee there, but uh, it looks like a bit of a funny knee, I think. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, she can do that. Get a bit of a hop on, and so forth. And she has a bit of a thigh cut at the top, so that's a bit of 360 by the looks of it. But we won't uh, do too much of that. I don't think she'll appreciate uh, all that so it looks like there's about much the same uh, uh, articulation uh, in, the, in the, the boot cut there and uh, yes you can uh, rock her side to side at the uh, ab crunch a bit of a uh, forward and back so it allows for a bit of poseability, I suppose. A bit of a bicep cut there. So you can rotate her arm around. And, uh, and at the hands, of course, a bit of rotation there. And, uh, and as you do, a bit of forward and, forward and back there, the hand articulation, which is a uh, a standard as we all know and uh, so yes in the head we can slide her her mask up and down with a little bit of effort here and uh, yes I suppose you can get a little bit of movement out of her head a bit of side to side there but uh, not much I think because of her, 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 her ponytail there. It's a shame they didn't articulate that part. And uh, she can get a slight bit of uh, up and down motion of there. 
So yes, uh, a, a little bit of minor detail in the cat mask. A bit of green, green application in the eyes. Green paint application there. And she has her, her dark pink lips and a bit of a, uh, looks like a bit of blue or well, a sort of bluey green colour in her eye makeup. And she has her cat green eyes. But uh, yes, lovely, lovely sculpting work in her hair there at the back. Uh, flowing down, flowing down her back there. And of course the, uh, the back of the cape. And then we can move our hair out of the way. There's the back of her collar, which you see the uh, the cape is attached to there. And of course you can see a bit of stitch work holding the cape in place. So that uh, that leads us onto her her soft goods cape there to give you a bit of a flow, I suppose. A nice sort of shiny. A shiny dark purple colour there. Oh, yes, so her collar, her collar is a loose piece. So you can remove that if you so wish. So, uh, let's see how she holds her, her pieces and what have you. So, uh, we have her cat shield here. It's a bit of a, a clear jewel at the top. Yeah, an inset in there. Nice uh, cat sculpted detail in the shield. And then we have the uh, the shield straps at the back so she can hold it. So a bit of a standard uh, uh, arm holding there but uh, looks like we'll have to have her holding it in in her left arm due to the way the strapping has been attached. So, uh, should we just pop her hand under there? Oh, it's going to be a bit of a, a tight fit, I think, because they have her, her fingers spread, splayed out more there. Oh dear. A bit fiddly. And uh, of course my, uh, my arthritis there in my hands as you get at my age. Oh. I think that's probably as best as we are going to get it. So there she can hold, she can hold her shield close. Close there. Yes. It's looking, looking splendid there. And uh, we might get the right hand, I think. So there we go, we've got her, her holding hand ready. Let's see if we can pull her hand out there. Oh, oh, there we go. It wasn't too difficult. So now we'll put her holding hand in place. There we go. And now we'll put her scepter in her hand. Yeah, she's sending up the call to her troops that she commands all her horde troopers and and all manner of other creatures of the horde. Uh, we can get her holding it her shield properly. Oh dear. So there, there she is. We got her her scepter held up high, held aloft. There. She's got her horde members behind her, ready to charge at the resistance. Oh dear. Oh, we forgot uh, to talk about the front of her belt there. What? So we'll just quickly do that, I think. So there we go. She's uh, 
bit of a cat, I think, emblem in her belt. I think that's what it is. Looks uh, like a cat. A uh, fairly feline there. <laughs> yes. A little bit of slight extra detailing coming around at the sides. And then and what have you. And we might slide her mask back down again. Her, her, and her battle mask ready look. So there she goes. Uh, surrounded by her her fellow horde her hordies or horde members rather <laughs> what is it uh, uh shields will be splitten and uh her swords will be clashed come on you ninka poops she says <laughs> Yes, there she goes, do uh, do maybe a bit of a block pose there, so she might have her legs bent and a bit, out, a bit spread out wide there, where she's blocked a sword blow from the power sword of She-Ra, perhaps, and she's coming round to parry with her her scepter or, or mace uh, accessory uh, yes a bit of posability there you can do uh, I think you can remove her mask also but it I've seen a little chatter uh, and, and what have you uh, uh, about uh, taking her, her cat mask off uh, there and there's a bit of a, a bit of a hole left in the side of her head but oh looks like you can uh, you can have her cat mask sort of uh, resting further back on top of the head there and uh, what have you So yes, so let's see about that. Uh, oh, there we go. So yes, you can remove the uh, the cat mask off her head. But yes, you're you're left with a bit of a. Uh, if we get to focus, yes. So you're left with a bit of a uh, uh, a long, longish hole going down the side of her head, which is uh, a little bit unfortunate. I feel uh, what they could have done was, uh, uh, if you recall, if you are a collector of the Star Trek there, uh, sometimes uh, I think uh, uh, Geordie's visor, there was a slight uh, indent in the head where the, the visor would clip in. And you could remove that out. They, they could have done something uh, along those lines. Maybe a, a slight in curve uh, uh, there and uh, and had the visor more of a more of a clip perhaps uh, a, a hairband uh, type setup that would naturally have a bit of uh, tension something like this uh, that would grab around the, the side of the head so if you had a so you, you see how it sort of uh, the head of face looks like it sticks out of the sides and then had a light bit of curvature uh, which you you almost you almost certainly have there and it might curve in a little there to make a little bit of a a, a spot for the the hairband to you know grab onto to keep it on and and what have you but yes it is yeah. A bit of an odd one indeed there. Uh, sometimes you just need to, you know, have a bit of a breather there when you're designing things. And uh, sometimes uh, when you're thinking too hard, you 
you might miss the the mark as it were yeah and so forth but I guess if you're so inclined or skilled you might be able to put a bit of putty in there perhaps and do a bit of different uh, molding just to hide all that and what have you and you might be able to I don't know uh, trim these little bits here inside the the mask as it were down a little so they they might grab on still maybe a bit of cut on a bit of an angle coming out there that way um, yes but you know uh, I guess you you don't really see it when it's front on but uh, many of you might like to do a bit of a pose or, or two on the shelf there but I guess if it's a if you paint a bit of black maybe on the side it might hide that is a bit of the uh, the the side here perhaps but uh, uh yes it's uh this one little thing there does make it uh, hard to get the mask back on you to sort of get a right over clip there but yes as I as I showed before you can have her uh, we'll get rid of the shield now it's uh, hasn't held in quite properly uh, throughout this review so we'll we'll put that aside but yes uh, uh, like I said before you can uh, have the mask on top of her head there displayed that way if you like to see a bit more of her face and so forth but here's a, another bit of nice attention to her detail is she has a, a paint apps a dark purple color in her fingernails there so that's a nice added uh, a nice little added a bit of paint in there a feature if you will Uh, is there anything else I might have missed? Uh, maybe just a little bit of the sculpting at the top of the boots there. A bit of a rim around the boot tops. She, she, she has, uh, yes, a, a wonderful amount of detail added in there. A bit of, bit of a seam. Uh, rim around her collar area maybe oh yes we missed a little bit of uh, indenting in the cat ears on her mask to give the uh, impression of cat, hair, cat ears there and uh, so forth her uh, handle of her, her scepter or club weapon is a uh, a nice amount of uh, uh, detail molded into that if our camera will show that here it goes and there's another look at the jewel that's uh, encrusted at the top there painted in green uh, similar color to the eyes on her cat mask and uh, and, and what not but uh, uh right so uh, I don't have any other types of uh, catras to do a bit of a comparison with uh, as you say uh, uh, be it uh, from vintage or uh, classics or any other uh, masters line there uh, I do have a uh, uh, another few uh, uh, leading ladies there uh, as we say to uh, to stand beside her to have a bit of a, a look at so uh, uh, I think we might uh, here we have uh, Master vs. Teela there another figure with her shield and uh, sword and toe and uh, what else there uh, next we might have a bit of uh, a look at uh, a battleground Teela there 
So there is a uh, uh, battleground Tila uh, looking ready for battle, and uh, and so on. So there's a uh, there's her beside Catra there, and uh, I think we we better even up the score there. Uh, what do you think? So we uh, we might put uh, old battleground Tila to that side. Will she stand for us? There we go. And uh, we might uh, even up the score with uh, Catra there. And uh, and bring in, of course, Evelyn there. Uh, so she's uh, she has her uh, wand or scepter in hand uh, in the thick of battle herself. And then so forth. So yes, there's a, a look at a couple of uh, uh, figures in a similar scale there, all looking uh, rather good with all their uh, details and accessories. So yes, uh, uh, not bad there. And uh, I've also forgot about the spare hands, of course, uh, come with uh, all the nails painted there in that uh, dark purple colour. But the grabby hands are, are not as well coveraged, uh, as you say, as the more open hand uh, paint application of the, the fingernail paint. So yes, uh, there was that little uh, overlooked detail there. So yes, uh, she'll bring uh, bring her back into the forefront. We do a do a bit of a once around before we uh, bring this review to a bit of a close and what have you. Oh yes, uh, the inside of her cape looks a little bit more matte than the outside there. It's a bit more shinier, I think. Who might uh, we'll put her mask back on? Uh, what do you reckon? Oh, slide it down a little bit. There we go. So yes, uh, various uh, different states of posing you can get with go uh, Ketra there so yes uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, little review there and uh, uh, if you if you like this uh, video then uh, 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 hit the like uh, button there to help me get my uh, various adventures out into YouTube land and uh, uh, feel free to uh, uh, subscribe there if you would like to uh, be notified whenever I'm back on the great eye of the universe here doing a, a spot of a, a review or, or an unboxing or two and, and, and so forth and uh, what will you how will you be posing your oh, Ketra there will you have her mask uh, battle ready uh, as we have it there or we have it uh, uh, Lifted above her eyes, or, or over top of her head, or, or removed completely. Uh, so it's uh, your figure, I suppose. You can uh, display her how you see fit. And uh, yes, uh, as we as we always say, uh, uh, good journey, uh, everybody, and uh, uh, cheerio.